When I look at photos of myself from a year ago, I feel like I'm looking at photos of myself from 10 years ago. Their appearance and what I remember of their personality is so different to me now that I find it hard to connect that I was once them. So how much of a person can you actually change before they become an entirely different person? Firstly, I'd argue that there are lots of different levels of things that make you you. There's the small stuff like not liking carrots or tapping a pen on your arm while you read. And if those change, nothing happens, you're still you. Then there's the medium stuff. And that's things like pronouncing TH sounds and PH sounds as Fs. But if that changes, you've just started saying a word differently. So people around you will probably notice, but you're still you. Then there are the bigger things like your political opinion and your viewpoints, and if those change then they'll have ripple effects throughout your personal identity, so smaller things and some medium things will change too, but just because you're no longer conservative or no longer a liberal doesn't really change who you are. It's just one bit of your personality that has now kind of moved to something else. So we're no closer to answering this question. So let's create a metaphor to help us answer this question a bit better. I imagine people as boxes full of lots of stuff and all of this stuff is constantly being chucked out, being replaced by new stuff, being taken out, changed a little bit and also new stuff is always being put into this box. It's constantly changing. So over a year, lots of little things would have been changed, thrown out, replaced and all that stuff. A bunch of medium sized things would have been changed too and if it was a particularly eventful year, one or two big things might have changed as well. However, over a decade, I would argue that most, if not all of the contents of that box would be changed completely. Meaning that over that decade it has become an entirely new box. Nothing in it is exactly the same, which means technically people do become completely different people, but they don't at the same time. You can change all of your habits, all of your viewpoints, all of those little quirks that make you you, all that superficial stuff. And over time, you will. But you'll still always be you. You'll never be a different person just for changing all that stuff because it will change over like a decade. So I reckon there might be a fourth thing in this box. Keystones. Things that make you who you are. Your gender, your sexuality, your religion for some people. Those are part of you. Not just these superficial things that are added onto you, these are the things that those things are glued to, the things that those things are surrounding and crowding. When you take one of those out, it's not like taking something else out and just replacing it with something. You take it out, it comes to life, grows legs and arms, tips that box upside down, grabs your head and pushes it into all of what makes you you and makes you assess every last element of your own being. It is an incredible soul searching experience to remove a keystone or realize it's not meant to be there because everything around it has to be judged. Earlier this year, I realized that the gender I'd been expressing as for nearly 20 years, the gender that people told me since birth was my own, didn't fit right. I'd piled so much stuff on top and around it to make it stay in place in my box that it was ridiculous. It didn't change the fact that it doesn't fit in the place it's meant to be. So in February 2016, I realized that I'm female. I am a woman and nothing can change that. I have had to tip my box upside down and look at every single thing that made me me because there's so much pointless crap in there. So much stuff that, oh, it's only there to justify the fake gender that people had given me that I thought was mine, but it isn't. And I am so much happier for knowing that. In short, I have done 10 years of growth in one short year because I've had to look at everything that makes me me. That is why when I look at photos of myself from last new years, I feel like I'm looking at a dead person. A person who I can't really connect with that used to be me because everything about me apart from my keystones, by one keystone, is completely different. And I love the person I was. I was, I've really 
good person, but now I am so much better. I'm happier. I'm more sentimental. That's not what I was looking for. I was looking for better self-esteem, but I am rambling now. So I just want to say that 2016 has been a horror for so many people, but for me, it's been the year of personal growth and reflection. I hope to make 2017 the year of prosperity and action. I will be making so many more videos, being lot, so much more productive. I can't wait for the next year. It's going to be my first entire year as Alice, as the person that I am meant to be. Thanks for watching this year. I love all 31 of you. You are amazing. Have a happy new year and tell me what your, you think your keystones are down below. I love you.